everybody, how's it going? You know what? I decided that I would make a lemon tart, specifically a Meyer lemon tart. But right now we're going to start by making a basic sweet tart dough, and I've never actually done this before. Let's get started. Okay. I'll be using a recipe from a book I got for Christmas, The Modern Baker. That's what I am, folks. I'm a modern baker. And you know what? So this recipe calls for a food processor, but I don't have one. But I did get a pastry blender for Christmas. Let's check it out. Oh, wait. And I'm back. First, I'm going to combine the flour, sugar, and baking powder in this bowl. You need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Quarter cup of sugar a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna take this whisk and whisk. I guess it's Pluger butter because it's European style, which means it has a higher fat content. That's really good in pastry dough because it, it gives you a flakier crust. But it's not in sticks already yet. What? Now what I've just did also is prepped one egg with one egg yolk and a tablespoon of water. I'm just gonna blend this with a fork to expedite the process. Dump the butter into this. Cutting in the butter with the pastry blender. And I've never done this. Dad? Well, I just texted you telling that I was making a fruit tart, so... Yeah. Well, clearly... I what? I wanted to talk to you about something more than fun than a fruit tart. Go back to your fruit tart. Okay, Dad, love you. Love you, bye. It says in the recipe that you don't want any visible bits of butter, so you really have to work this. <laughs> something that you make on the stove, allow it to cool. This is a Meyer lemon. A Meyer lemon is different because it only comes around really one during one time of the year, which is now winter time, and it's sweeter. It has a sweeter taste. According to some, it's thought to be a cross between a regular lemon and a mandarin orange. So I'm going to make some lemon juice first just to have it ready. I need about a half a cup of it, so that's three to four lemons probably. And we're there with one lemon to spare. Did I mention that I'm using an Ina Garten recipe? Well, I am. Because she's like my favorite. Also, we have the same birthday, so... So this right here is equivalent to a stick of butter. So I'm just gonna let that cream while I get a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm adding four eggs to this mixture. And then the last step will be to add the lemon juice that we juiced and some salt. I'm going to pour this into the saucepan. Low heat, constantly stirring it until it thickens into a curd. Okay guys, so the truth is I don't really know if I did this right. I'm just going to let it cool off in the refrigerator. This is ready. It's a French rolling pin with tapered ends. I'm gonna flour my hands up a bit. So I'm just gonna press it so it goes to all the corners. Make in some cylinders. And this is a great technique, I think, because it's going to make it really easy for me to press this into the side of the pan. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, though. 
God, I'm definitely not. It's okay, what am I gonna do? Maybe not completely. Yeah, it's gonna have to work. Okay, so somehow I made that work. Now we're gonna get ready to blind bake it. That means baking it before we actually add the lemon curd. Open up my beans, and I got a bunch of beans. So now I'm gonna bake this for 20 minutes. Hey guys, so I'm back. Great news. Um, something happened badly with the crust, and I took it out of the oven. It looks kind of like a cake. I'm just gonna go crazy and make up my own rules. I'm gonna put it in the freezer and see if it will go down a bit while it cools. I think that I didn't distribute the dough properly throughout the tart pan. It looks like it went down a little bit. We're gonna pour the mixture into the crust. It's already overflowing, so that's awesome. And it goes for 25 minutes. So just a few few more minutes. You're going to want to eat it, I bet. So I'm just going to try and scrape off this top film very carefully. I think it might be okay in the end. Okay, just cut some strawberries in half and I'm going to make a design on the fruit chart. Not burn so much on the sides, but just a little bit. You can see that the crust is a lot thicker. I really do wish that there was more lemon. The ratio is off. I think it might be thicker over here. Whatever, okay, so. Everybody have a great time. Be sure to keep on voting and commenting. Just really enjoying what you're doing. Okay, bye.